Okay, here I am in front of the Dixie County Courthouse, Dixie County, Florida. And here's where the problem is, apparently. Apparently there is one person in the county that cannot seem to appreciate the Ten Commandments being right in the front of the courthouse. <coughs> Get me in the shot of the courthouse in the backdrop here. Okay. This has been a very, very long, very expensive fight to separate church and state. But for a lot of people, the Ten Commandments does not establish religion. Because the purpose behind the Ten Commandments was the establishment of law and justice. <clears throat> thou shalt, first one, thou shalt not have no other gods before me. This establishes God as being the highest authority. You place any other authority ahead of God and above God, then where does that source of authority come from? Are you elevating some authority of man to be above the law? Is that correct? Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images. Now these graven images are man-created idols. Man-created representations of authority. And once again, where does that source of authority come from? If man creates it, then man is the source of the authority. And if man can establish his own laws, then man can be above the law. The law can be seen as not applying to some people. If man can be above the law, then there is no justice. It's just a basic principle. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Once again, social justice. If it wasn't for the establishment at this level of having a day off, of being able to, being able to take a day off, before because the Sabbath day was made for man and not man for the Sabbath. <clears throat> Without having that written into the ultimate law. A foundational principle then your boss would be fully justified to work you seven days a week 365 days a year and never give you any time off you would be a slave <clears throat> wouldn't be overtime there wouldn't be any of that stuff not 
in the sense of an ultimate principle that you would have the means of a higher power that sa that sanctions a day off you would have to use force prove yourself to be above the law in order to establish a law like that and then where would that authority be the next person that came along that produced more force than you would simply be able to just put you back under their bondage honor thy father and their mother this is once again social law social justice it establishes the family unit as being a cornerstone of society thou shalt not kill if any one of these commandments is not deemed worthy of the courthouse then none of them are and therefore you are sanctioning killing you are establishing a morality that if it is not from God then it is a morality from man and you under that same separation of church and state can't force me to obey your morality all you can do is use superior force to keep me in check but still society is a very thin veil what prevents me from killing what prevents me from stealing if it is my belief that I have the right to do so if it's just your word versus mine you see the problem the biggest problem with the Ten Commandments over here let me swing back camera back over here to you the biggest problem with this document right here is that it springs from the very same source it comes from the very same self-evident authority the very same creator God that endowed us with the inalienable rights listed in the Constitution if the Ten Commandments are an establishment of religion then so is the Constitution of the United States this government get my zoom back in here again this government was established upon certain principles it established that there are certain inalienable rights and certain inalienable laws that must be followed and to deem one side of the coin unconstitutional must also deem the other side of the coin unconstitutional this is not an establishment of religion and even if it was it's not an establishment of religion by Congress this is not even establishing religion by the federal government this isn't even establishment of religion by state government this is a county courthouse this is a community effort this is establishment of the culture of this community 
and have someone from outside of the community come in and say that they are offended by that culture to me is very offensive and where is my justifiable right to not be offended if I'm offended by something I guess I have no leg to stand on do I because to touch that sign is to touch what I believe in. And if you touch that, you touch me.